to the computer archive. Today we're going to have a look at this business computer by Epson, the Epson QX10, which was introduced in 1983. It featured an 8-bit Zilog C80 processor running at 4 MHz. It has 64K of RAM, expandable to 256K. Some special features about this computer were, for example, the display, which had a 600 by 400 pixels resolution, which was extremely high at that time. Uh, it had very low profile disk drives. Uh, this were five and a, and a quarter inch disk, uh, disk drives, and this um, is the shape and size of a regular disk drive of that time. Um, so you can see it's about a third of the height, which uh, gave this computer a very sleek appearance. Uh, furthermore, uh, most of these computers featured with a multi font card that was uh, installed in the, an expansion slot, and it could display multiple fonts on the display and on your printers. Uh, it came with a customized version of CPM. Uh, CPM is a disk operating system made by Digital Research and it was one of the most popular disk operating systems in the early 80s and the end of the 70s. Now let's turn this machine on. I think one of the coolest features of this machine is that it shows its self-test with LEDs on the keyboard. Now watch this. Now we'll ask us to insert this cap, which I will do right now. Now what you see here is the Epson branded version of CPM. Two interesting features about the keyboard of the QX10 were that it had customizable function key keycaps you see they're transparent and it had this row of keys um, which are style keys. These style keys were used uh, to display different fonts on the machine. So when I start up the multi-font feature you see I get a different font on my display. Now this is the standard font and I select the sequence with the style keys, you see that I got a different font. Do the next one. And you could also make combinations with this. So, this is a different combination, and this is yet a different combination. And in total, it featured 16 different fonts. You could use all the com possible combinations of these keys. So, these are all the fonts that this machine can display. And it did this with this special multi font expansion card. So here's the beating heart of one of the special features of this machine, the multi font card. And this card enables the machine to make all those beautiful fonts. Uh, it fits within one of the five expansion slots that this machine has. And most uh, machines came with this card installed. Another thing that I really like about this computer is that it has a very characteristic speaker sound. The speaker resonates in a very special way in this case and music sounds really cool with that and I will uh, show that with a basic program, a small piece of basic music that I wrote. It's a monophonic speaker by the way. So let's start up Epson's Multifonts Basic. and have a showdown of the speaker's capabilities. You hear that the lower sounds uh, sound very distinctive and very articulated and therefore uh, you can make some really cool uh, musical compositions even though it's monophonic. Uh, you heard that I, I got a pretty good beat out of this machine 
and uh, I think it sounds pretty neat. Another noticeable feature about this computer is the way the display is connected. It doesn't have a power cord itself. So this is the only power cord that you connect to the computer and the display gets both its data and its power just through this little cable connection. Here you see the inside of the Epson QX10. These are the low profile disk drives that are mounted in the top of the case. Here you have the power supply of the Epson that you could switch with the dip switch to 110 volts or 230 volts. These are the expansion slots. Here you have your external ports and this is an optional display card which featured 128K of video RAM which was a enormous amount at that time. Uh, with this card the Epson QX10 could display high resolution color graphics. This is the speaker that you just heard and here is a rechargeable backup battery that held the value for the real time clock. So this was a presentation of the Epson QX10. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please subscribe. There's a whole lot more to come on this channel. And uh, we hope to see you back on the Computer Archive.